In this video, I will be discussing components of auction premium very briefly, um, which cover the level of CAF 8 CA ICAP examinations. Now, uh, I will just cover briefly the components of auction premium. In an auction premium, there are two components. The first one is called intrinsic value and the second one is called your time value. The first thing you must note is that any out of the money option, out of money option or any out of the money option in simply OTM has zero intrinsic value. Therefore, all the option premium is time value. For in the money options, in the money options, the intrinsic value is calculated as difference of strike price and underlying price. Now, for example, let's take one example of a call option. Let's say there is a call option. What is a call option? Call option is an option to buy. Let's say a call option has a strike price or exercise price of 100. The market price is 175. And the premium or option premium is 100. Now, if it is a call option and its strike price is 100 and market price is 175, this option is an in the money option, ITM. Since the market price is greater than a strike price and exercising the option is preferable, so it is an in the money option. And if the entire option premium is 100, and if it is an in, in the money option, our intrinsic value will be 175 minus 100 or 75. If total option premium is 100, using this specific equation which says option premium is equals to intrinsic value plus time value if our entire option premium is 100 and intrinsic value is 75 therefore our time value will be 25 let's take one more example let's say there is a call option and call option has a strike price of 100 it is further stated that spot or market price is let's say 75 and option premium amount is 100. Now this option is an OTM or out of the money option. Since it is a call option, all option is option to buy and we have a higher, higher strike price than the market price. <clears throat> Since it is an out of the money option, the intrinsic value component or IV will be zero and the entire amount of premium will be time value using the equation which says option premium is equals to intrinsic value plus time value so entire 100 rupees is our time value and there is nothing for your intrinsic value let's take one more example this time of a put option what is a put option put option is an option to sell and let's say a put option has a strike price of 100. It further states that the market price is 70. Now since it is a put option and the strike price is higher than the market price. Strike price is greater than market price exercising the option is beneficial and therefore it is an in the money option. And for in the money option, the intrinsic value is difference of your strike price and market price, which comes out to be 30. This is your intrinsic value of premium. Now, let's say that your total option premium was 50. If the total option premium was 50 and your intrinsic value is 30, so your time value will be 20. This is your time value. Let's take one more example. 
let's say there is a put option again and this time the put option has a strike price of uh, 100 market price of the underlying element is 150 since it is a put option it will be beneficial to sell the component or the any underlying into the market and therefore it is an out of money option and as discussed out of money options have a zero intrinsic value now let's suppose that you paid a premium of rupees 25 this entire premium will be your time value and there will be zero intrinsic value so in exam questions I have discussed very simply premium let's recall the option premium is the amount that you pay initially to buy an option it will have two components the first one will be your intrinsic value the second one will be your time value the intrinsic value amount is zero if the option is OTM or out of money however if the option is ITM or in the money it has or it does have certain intrinsic value and intrinsic value for a put or a call option call option or put option is the difference difference between what it is difference between your strike price and the underlying price or market price once you calculate the intrinsic value amount for an in the money option and you know the premium amount let's say this is A, this is B and this is C your equation will be A or premium is equals to B plus C and therefore your time value will always be equals to A minus B so for a time value we can also say that for an out of money option the entire option premium is equals to time value but for an in the money option or ITM our time value will be the entire option premium amount minus our intrinsic value what is in the money out of the money options is all discussed in class you just need to know the intrinsic value the time value and the option premium and its simple computations thank you for watching this video uh, hope this covers briefly what the option premium intrinsic value and time values are and those who have taken regular classes must read page number 59 to know about details and written examples and also if they do not know about in the money out of the money and at the options they can go through their basic differences on that page thank you